Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining us. My name is Nick. This is my mom, Jen. Hi guys. And we're back with The Sopranos Season 5, Episode 13, Ooh, the finale. Last one, eh? Last one. This has been a quite a season. It really has been, yeah. yeah. You know, last time we lost Adriana in, you know, so far the most depressing episode of the mm -hmm. series. You know, she was such a... You know, not completely, but thing. but like just, the most innocent yeah. character of the cast. Yeah. And actually, I was didn't. I was reading up after the fact. La Serva apparently means female deer. Oh. So that refers to like like when she finds finds out that they're gonna kill her, yeah. like deer in the headlights. Yeah. But also like I I think I even said something, but like she's like a like a, a an innocent creature in yeah. amongst all these yeah. predators and all these dangerous. But she did her best and didn't tell them like. Like she was in a really bad spot, and then yeah. Like if anything, you could say her her biggest sin was loving the wrong man exactly yeah you know yeah. that was that was her downfall uh, yeah. at the end because yeah. she had that sort of vision of of just driving away just and leaving no matter what he did she still loved him right and yeah that, yeah that's the tragic part and oh yeah like that and that, yeah. that was really rough yeah. yeah yeah so then we had that and then the other big thread that we're probably gonna uh wrap up here is uh tony b because he he went to go kill Phil, but he killed Phil's brother. Yeah. And then Phil is out for revenge. And then, and Johnny and Tony, you know, Tony basically said, you know, fuck you right to his yeah, face. So yeah. Yeah. We're going to have clashes with the New York family yeah. now. Yeah. And they, they know where Tony was, right? Oh, Tony B. Yeah. yeah cause, yeah. cause like, uh, he had Sylvia's guy track down the phone and then he mm -hmm. called his uncle. So, cause like, I guess the house is still just empty. Yeah. So, yeah. Tony B's hiding out there. Yeah. So we're going to kind of see, you know, how that wraps yeah. up, you know, because like Steve Buscemi has been in a real kind of dynamic presence on the mm -hmm. show and so for the season and yeah, kind of see where his story ends up. Yeah, yeah, but and it's called All Due Respect. So let's 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 all respect. Yeah, just <laughs> exactly. mark everybody's comments, you guys. Yes. You need to just. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we we just want to take a moment to please you know remind people to be respectful in the comments. You know, like. As newcomers, we don't have the kind of intimate familiarity a lot of you guys have with the it's show the or their, the history. Yeah. I mean, yeah. a, a lot of you probably saw this as it was airing, mm -hmm. which is it, it's been really invaluable, like your trivia, your experience and everything. Mm -hmm. But, you know, this should be a space where we can all kind of express our opinions without judgment, you know, without any, any kind of hostility. Yeah. You know, so we just want to so remind people of that. Hostility. Yes, please. Just be because we think of this some other way than you do or, yes. you know, we see it in a different light or we like different characters or whatever. That's okay. Everybody can do their exactly. Own thing. Yeah. So don't be a jerk, please. Yes, in the most respectful Mom, terms. Mom's talking. In the most respectful terms. That's right. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But no, with all that being said, let's just enjoy ourselves. Yeah. 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 Let, we're we're watching. We're here to watch TV and movies. That's we're here, right. We're here to have a good time with amazing actors and great stories. Yeah. So please, let's just have a good time. Yeah. And with all that being said, let's get watching. <laughs> we're going back to this like yeah kind of happened and well maybe like if phil ends up doing something this kind of frames yeah, you know i guess yeah. he's never gonna give up that fucking animal blundetto really an eye for an eye a few things have to settle down first and my cousin will send me the funds to go through canada italy they always go through canada yeah <laughs> oh hey thanks for that massage my toe doesn't hurt hardly at all now Oh, yeah, because he was going to be a massage therapist. What could have oh. been, yeah. Yeah. Oh! Excuse me. Oh, oh, that's Christopher's mother. Yeah. Please let go of my hand. Where the fuck is he, you fucking cunt? I'll take that disc, man. Jesus Christ. Yeah. It's a guy's mother. Why they want Christopher? They're trying to find Tony B. That's, I guess, though. It is. Yeah. Or maybe just get the next best thing for revenge and... Now look at this kid out there, the gardener's son. Can't ask this one to take out the trash. Poverty is a great motivator. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. Is there a place that we can take a look at these? They're only preliminary drawings. Oh, for that property? For the land, yeah. yeah. T? Christopher, hi, it's Carmela. Is Adriana there? <gasps> I stopped by Fortune Office. She was supposed to get back to them with a final decision about her china pattern. Oh, the wedding. Uh, we broke up. What? I, t I wish I could reach her. Is there a number? Chris, listen. There's other fish in the sea. Yeah, you can have them killed, too. Yeah, that's right. We're trying to protect you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
I mean, how dare she? Yeah. Oh, here Tony we go. Tony Soprano and Vito Spadafore talking about the bus station project. Adrienne LaServa. I heard she took off. Any idea where? How should I know? He's a dope addict. Did I already give you that? <laughs> when are we going to catch him? But when you think about it, he's like the last one left, so he's like the best at it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if you're them, you want somebody close to Tony as possible. And who knows him better than long? Oh, Polly. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be a treasure. Yeah, well. Whatever. What's going on there? Hmm. My cousin Anthony went into business for himself. We all know this. He's got a problem with rage. Yeah, <laughs> look who's talking. Yeah, yeah. They were godless. It's been made clear to me. Did he actually just say irregardless? Yes, it's not a word. I see that my nephew isn't here, and uh, it's important he lamb it now. My desire that you circle the wagons, you support him. So why is Christopher not there? Just because he's hiding out, kind of? I think so, yeah. Like, bereaved about, about uh, well, Adriana. Adriana that, yeah. and, but, but also, yeah. like... They are after him. Phil's after so him. We saw such. that, yeah. yeah. True. Okay. Because Johnny did say at the meeting that he would take any, like, other relative yeah. in, in Tony B's place. Yeah. So. Thank you. That was great. <laughs> <laughs> was uh, Christopher there? Did you know that him and Adriana broke up? No. Then they wonder why they get chemical dependencies. Mm -mm. Because there was this one night, it was way back, it was a movie night with the girls. Adriana was... Right. You never know about people. <laughs> she would be the love of his life to its end. Rommel saw... Oh, Rommel. Wow. The Desert Fox. a clue there tony she doesn't <laughs> want to watch that but <laughs> had what the germans call fingerspitzengefühl which is a sixth sense of sizing up a situation i love that the germans just have terms for all this random yeah, stuff you yeah, know yeah yeah <laughs> the favoritism tony still shows for our fucking cousin after what he's done after all your uncle's done for you yeah, yeah. that's good so yeah Go. Hmm. All due respect. Uh, you were ready to hand him your cousin a week ago. Yeah. Then what's it all about? Why don't you illuminate me? <laughs> it's about you don't want to eat shit from John. You got a problem with authority. Mm -hmm. Seven deadly sins and yours is pride. Well, uh, I think it's a bit of each. Yeah. Lust, wrath, envy. <laughs> you got no fucking idea what it's like to be number one. Every decision you make affects every facet of every other fucking thing. And in the end, you're completely alone with it all. Like I'll go home after all. Yeah, he doesn't <laughs> want to hear anything, so. This is AIDS Club, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. oh. Yeah, time to go. Oh. He's going to get hit. Yeah. Because, yeah, they're watching him. Would only make sense. Mm -hmm. Gun coming. There it is. Oh. Yep. <laughs> oh God. Don't fuck with me, kid. Don't fuck with. Oh, go. Yep. Go. Yep. Oh, not that way though. Reverse. Well, reverse. Matter. Yeah. Get her behind. Uh, the, uh, oh ah. shit. Damn. Oh, with his cane. Oh. It's a start. Jesus. Oh, he spent more time at the hospital. If only he'd have gone in reverse. He yeah, he would have. They would have gone flying with him. He has a fractured skull. Oh, look at his ear. Yeah. It's all going to be taken care of through the Plumbers Union Health Plan. I'm going to see to that. <laughs> it's going to keep happening until they get their pound of flesh, right? Oh, look. I haven't seen Junior for a while. It's been a minute. Yeah. Why are you sending a fruit basket to the kid? He'll appreciate it. It's from Mel. The poor guy had a stroke, you believe it? He's younger than me. Oh. Tilly can work a full schedule. They'll have to postpone my retrial. No shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, you gotta talk to him. John? Bobby. Does John do your collections? <laughs> then I don't see a way out. But he wasn't made, right? The kid. Phil's son. His brother, wasn't it? 
Yeah. Tell Phil. Tell Phil what? Boy. Where are you going? All kinds of wires crossed. Yeah. You wanted to confront with me? That's not important. Yeah, his mind is really going. Tony well, doesn't even have him anymore to talk to. How's life now that you're back home? Oh, we're back to the one that's the only one left to help him. Coach is going to the Sutterkin Mall. What's the reason? Well, AJ's just devoting more energy to academics. He's determined to get into a good school. Yeah, yeah, he's <laughs> determined, yeah. Yeah, right. How's things on other fronts? Your cousin. Oh, well, that's not a good subject. Here's what I bet the coach didn't tell you. What you wanted to hear most is that your son is special, too. Oh, yeah. How much? It's five bucks. Where are we? Having a house party somewhere? Oh, hey, that's AJ's friend. Oh, yeah. Paul Dano. What's going to happen here, do you think? They're going to get in a fight. It's your cup. It's back in the athletic department. We're getting ripped off. Oh. Fucking matters. Oh, here we go. Bunch of teenage boys. Yep. About five seconds before they start chanting, fight, fight, yeah. fight. He's got to give up Tony B. Not fair to everybody else, right? Mm -hmm. he yeah, it. otherwise he... He did it, so you got to go face it, man. You can't just hide out. Otherwise, you start a war. Yeah. Either within your family yeah. or with another family. Yeah. What is it? Open his door. <laughs> <laughs> the painting. What the fuck? Right, I forgot about the painting. Yeah. It's museum quality work, I admit that. <laughs> but I told the guys the chance to hang a picture of you on my wall. It's him dressed as like Napoleon. Yeah, that's with the hat and shit. <laughs> <laughs> but you never come here no more. I didn't figure it'd be a problem. <laughs> it's like a sad little boy that his friend is no longer yeah. coming over. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, Tony. Oh. He's taking it. Oh. You should be honored if that's the way he sees you. Yeah. He could have changed it and had his own face put in. <laughs> Who, Polly? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Right? Hanging in your house. Oh, he just got an idea there, like. Yeah. Because he's the general. Is it because he got to do it himself? Is I that think, what it is? I think so. And then he won't be tortured and stuff. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, back here, where which meant so much to them, and you know, coming here as kids. Yeah. And... For it to end here. I have a feeling we won't be seeing Steve Buscemi in season six. Yeah. Oh. <gasps> Shit. I, I I didn't think he would do that. Oh, man. Is this just him picturing it, or...? No, I think he did it. I just... It's so sudden. Yeah, he didn't say anything. He's, like he's looking into your soul. Yeah. The makeup, eh? It's crazy, yeah, the yeah. prosthetics. Oh. And he was like a brother to you. Yeah. He's a 146 Rue 9A Kinderhook. They'll be pissed they didn't get to do it, though, right? Yeah. There yeah. we go. He never had a single line this episode. No! Yeah, for how much, like, build, build up and anguish there was over the decision, it was just yeah. over so quick. Yeah. Didn't solve a thing. Oh. Open, John. <laughs> the fuck it is! He's beside himself now! Tomorrow morning, then, my house, 6.30. What? You and you alone. I'm not having Phil, nobody. It's so flattering, that gown, eh? <laughs> yeah. That paper gown we all have to wear. Mm-hmm. You need to go up to the farm and pick up your cousin. Take him off the premises, obviously. You got it. Mr. Cry. I'm going to prove myself to you. I only chipped at once on a day with her. She was willing to rat me out because she couldn't do five fucking years. I thought she loved me. You fucking idiot. Uh, so there, you know, they think that right at the beginning she should have said, no, put me in jail. 
which is what they would do, right? Oh, like, yeah, yeah, like in their culture, you she do. She didn't like, know what to do, though. Well, she was just but, lost. But also, they were threatening her with like a 30 year sentence. Yeah. With a... But first, to get into this, I think was a five year sentence. True. For drugs yeah. or something, right? And yeah. Oh. Damn. You said you would be finishing your application for East Stroudsburg State. You're going to stroke out if you can't find a way to control yourself about all this. <laughs> you little gremlin. Yeah. Get his phone. So, fine. I am withholding all allowance until those applications are done. That's not even practical, and you know it. <laughs> Daddy's here. Get him, Tony. It may interest you to know. People said it was the best party all year. Well, there was drinking, I suppose. We just let people into Matt's house. What they brought with them was not under our control. God. <laughs> God, he's so just entitled and... Uh -huh. She mentioned that AJ talked to her once about what might be good schools to study event planning. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. <laughs> His face. I can't see AJ in event planning. She's fired up about something at least. <laughs> That's just it, yeah. <laughs> the, two of, the two of them are just... <laughs> What do we do with this information? Yeah. Oh, he's going to John's. Yeah. Oh, Sal. Phil has to know that punishment has been meted out, and that's all there is. And? And what? Read his price, and that's it. Hmm. I paid enough, John. I paid a lot. Yeah. Still look forward to working with you, John. I mean that. You want a coffee? Oh, I don't know. Who's that? Cops? Are you kidding? Oh my fucking Christ! Oh! The FBI! Oh! Oh shit! Were they listening? How? Somehow? Okay, threw his gun away. Yeah. Oh. Based on whatever the the captain gave them, because Adriana oh. gave them nothing important. Right. Oh god. Oh Jesus Christ. That escalated Oh throat. no, Ginny's in there, right? Yeah. yeah. Ah! Oh my yeah. god. Oh. Jesus. Oh. So they got John. They didn't get Tony though, did they? Uh not yet. I mean they saw him run away. Yeah. Gardner. Oh. What the hell? Watch his arm. Poor guy. Oh Jesus. <laughs> oh god damn. There's cars there though at uh, John's. That just <laughs> that uh, that just <laughs> escalated. Yeah. <laughs> like obviously it's, they they want John because they're at John's house. Yes. Ooh, that would be so cool. Yes, yes. Oh. Uh. <laughs> I was waiting for probably called Christopher or something, probably. Jimmy Petrillo was a cooperator. He's a sweet old guy. He gave them gambling, homicides. Is that the guy? No, I think that was one of Johnny's guys. Oh. Ooh. It's Brooklyn. They weren't coming for you. Mm. So frankly, were I you, I might actually consider laughing. Or rub a hunchback's hum. What? Is that a saying? I don't know. I've never heard that. So the whole, that whole side got taken. At yeah. least like a lot of Johnny's crew. Yeah. Uh-oh. Is it the bear? Or the Tony? Tony. Oh. <laughs> Sneaking into his own... Please, oh god. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> it's been a bad day. It'd be so perfect if he, like, slept and fell in the pool or something. <laughs> yeah, it became winter all of a sudden, eh? Wasn't it summer here? Uh, I guess it was it's... fall, maybe. They yeah. had the pool covered over, I guess. Mm hmm. Carm. <laughs> yeah, <I'm happy> <laughs> She's like, what the hell? Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> what wow a, what a way to end it <laughs> oh that was crazy oh uh, i was i thought they were somebody coming to shoot one of them and then when tony saw and ran that somebody was going to shoot them, at, at first i just thought, saw the fbi patch at first i thought like oh it's just like john like maybe like some relatives like yeah. kids playing around but i'm like okay he doesn't have kids and anything and then when yeah. that tony's face i'm like okay it has to be something serious and then and it's like all of a sudden fbi jacket <laughs> like he's running and john's like 
up like a <laughs> poor Ginny. Jesus. I know. <laughs> Another one not involved in it all, but in the, in the thick of it. Well, and then poor Sal, the gardener, be like, I'm, I'm just the gardener. And they're oh, like, oh, that you know, poor guy. Jesus. You know, forced to kind of do Johnny's and a couple other lawns for free. And ridiculous. We've, we've seen him, you know, a few times since that whole, yeah. uh, the whole gardening yeah. war went down. Yeah. And we took out Tony B. And you know, with him gone, that's the end of the class of 04. Well, I mean, apart from Phil, I guess. Just because, like, oh, An yeah. Angelo's gone, Tony B is now gone, uh, Beach went back to prison. Yeah, right. And you know, we started yeah. off the season with this sort of ushering in this whole new yes group of characters here to kind of upset the balance. and thin them out a little bit here. But they, yeah. they each of them made a big impact. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, now, you know, okay. yeah, like, it's just, for, like I said, for all the, the build-up and, you know, the agonizing, and it was, like, Steve Buscemi did not have a single line. No, not this time, hey? Yeah. Just Seeing him and yeah, he was good. good Actually, wait, no, hang on. Did he talk to that prostitute at the beginning? Oh yes, he did. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. But, but just did. in that whole encounter, he never got a final word. With yeah, Tony with Tony, it was just right now. There was no sorry or anything. And wow. I, I, I just love the kind of how like they sort of styled like his body on the mm -hmm. logs, just because like with his eye, his eyes, like Steve Buscemi has one of the most interesting faces yes. in Hollywood. Yeah. yeah. So, but like it's like he was looking right into your soul, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. <clears throat> and well, now then, his boys don't have a dad. And then the, that girl you know, brought up, like, you know, thanks for the massage. And, like, you yeah. Know, and it's just, but he was good at it. It's, it's, just, well, well, and, like, it's funny the, they threw that in, eh? The tragedy yeah. of it all is, like, you know, he, he works so hard to, tr to try and get straight. But then, mm. you know, like a lot of you guys pointed out, with that bag of cash that he found up by the side of the oh, road, yeah. that was like, you know, he had kind of poor impulse control when it came to money and things like mm. that. And so the, that was kind of like, if he never found that money, he would have probably stuck with it. Yeah. But because of that money, he got a taste of the good life Again. like he used to have. Yeah. And then it sort of re, you know, he, he changed his priorities. And, yeah. You know, like more than anyone, because like, like Christopher early on had the whole screenwriting thing or, you know, trying to explore his own interests. And then Tony talked about his, his coach. But like, I think out of all of them, Tony B had kind of the best like chance to, yes. to try and go straight. Yeah. Yeah. And it just showed... You know, you can't, you are who you are, those guys, right? Like he, yeah. he couldn't, he couldn't keep up the facade almost, right? Because he wanted to be that, but it was, was really, it was un unattainable with who you are, right? This yeah. Group, this group and stuff. So yeah, it's too bad he's gone, but you got to pay. You can't just go and do that in this world, right? And not, because mm -hmm. they would have just kept picking off one by one on, on well, like, Tony's side. And, and, and the thing of it is like, you know, he went after Phil, killed Phil's brother but all that did was piss off one of the most dangerous guys yeah. in the show. Yeah. You know, like, if anything, you should have killed, like, go for Phil, Burger kill him. Phil, yeah, yeah. Because, like, his brothers, no, no one, you know. Yeah. So, like, because A, that takes one of Johnny's most important guys away. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And B, it ends up saving yourself because it was it was because Phil went went on the warpath that Tony yeah. sort of, that, that, like, clinched his decision to take out Tony B. Yeah. Yeah. You know, but it's, you know, good old Frank Vincent from Goodfellas and Casino, yeah, you know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was interesting, though, the whole episode with Tony wrestling with all of this stuff, right? And going, trying to get get um, counsel from yeah. Uncle Junior and Sil. That, he's a lost cause now. Yeah. like, um, And then, and Sill, well, Sill tried. And um, then going back to Dr. Melfi, right? And Ruby, it's, he knew all along what to do. He just needed somebody to... Tell him it was okay. Tell him it was, it's what he had to do and that, you know, you're the boss. And, and he had a point with Syl. I mean, Syl's like, you know, the attitude and this and that, but nobody else has to do what he has to do. That right? that, that is a valid point. So, yeah. Because even like Christopher and yeah. Tony B, when they were taking out, digging up those bodies, they were saying that like, you know, he's, he's isolated up top with mm -hmm. him and his money, you know, mm -hmm. and like, you know, any decision yeah. he makes is literally life or death. Yeah. And yeah. then... <laughs> <laughs> that whole bit with him and Polly with the painting. Oh, Jesus Christ. Because <laughs> we even said when, when Polly picked up that painting. Yeah, and Tony's like, going to see it. We're like, what? Tony's going to flip when he sees <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah. But then, then Polly had it like, you know, retouched yeah. with the whole Napoleon yeah. thing. and then But it was, it was actually the painting that, that convinced Tony what to do, right? Yeah. He's looking at himself as that, the way Polly was seeing him as that general thing, yeah. right? And it's like. Be decisive. You got to do it. You're the boss. You got to go take care of it. And then. And at least, you know, he didn't get tortured and stuff, right? That's the thing. Yeah. Well, like, re regardless of, like, you know, whether Tony was going to do it himself or have someone else mm -hmm. do it, he would have made sure it was quick. Yeah. 
yeah. Johnny and Phil, they yeah. would have drawn it out. But now Phil's pissed because he didn't get to do it, even though, you know, the end result is the same. The guy's gone. But exactly. He didn't get the satisfaction. Right? Oh, yeah. So, no, he, he's just a total psychopath, yeah, even yeah. amongst like all of these other. So will he, he have gotten picked up, too, with this group? Is that how did, I don't know. <sighs> didn't he say the whole the the brooklyn group? side of things yeah so I, I think like at, at the very least a large chunk of johnny's crew has been picked up mm -hmm. uh, because of a informant on their side so right? i think it was jimmy they said yeah so do you remember uh episode or two ago when um we found out that little carmine basically gave up the race yes so yeah. the the older guy who talked to tony on the phone mm -hmm. i think that was him they were talking oh, about okay. he's the only one i can think of because like this tony said he was a sweet old guy oh, okay on the um on that like the the new york side of things we have we have johnny we have phil mm -hmm. and then the, like the in terms of like main or major characters yeah that's the only one i can think of who's mm -hmm. like maybe he flipped yeah okay because we still haven't mm -hmm. found out our good old captain here who yeah has yeah. given up everything he possibly can and yeah and like i say all the other rats have been found out except for him so he's good at hiding it yeah and when when we were at his birthday party, like we said, Tony was all kind of weird coming in, and I thought he maybe had found out or something. Yeah, or he was. He, he was being weird with Vito too, and I wasn't sure why. Right. I I think maybe it just it was like him like making a blanket statement, like just you know, I you're all talking about this stuff. I'm gonna lay down the oh, law okay. when it comes yeah. to my cousin. Yeah. I think it was kind yeah. of more about that. Yeah. Okay. And then yeah, Christopher kind of dealing with the fallout of his decisions, yeah. and you know. Him and Tony kind of bonding over their shared, you know, moments. Oh, and... yeah, they both lost somebody, yeah. 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 And then apparently AJ wants to go into event planning, <laughs> which is the most random thing. I know. <laughs> like, he, was, he was quite excited about what they did, though. But then <clears throat> the two of them laying there in bed after. <clears throat> they were so confused. The looks on their faces, right? <laughs> <laughs> They're like, okay. And they're the... <laughs> like, they were just <laughs> processing trying to picture the whole thing i guess yeah because yeah like aj continues to <clears throat> you know to be his yeah. his entitled self like telling Carm to calm down or oh my god that stuff, stuff is the, just really it's infuriating yeah like, yeah and you know what i mean we're talking about comments again but we've got some of you guys telling us you know crap like oh aj knows what's up and that's why he treats Carm this because way because I mean, she's a hypocrite and well, everything. all this other stuff i mean you know like Jesus look Christ. as yeah. from everything we've seen that has nothing to do with it That's aj right. is just, just being a, an asshole he's a spoiled little yes. shit who 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 fires back at his mom because she doesn't let him do what he That's wants to right. do yeah you know like any parent jerk yeah you know and and like tony is like he has moments of like fighting physically with yeah. him and stopping but like more often than not tony leans towards buying him a drum set or being like the cool dad in that way well he did and, before but i think now he's yeah he's on board now yeah, yeah. but, but yeah. at least like karma at stuff. least like a, you know until this moment it's always been like karma has been the one like the disciplinarian always you know telling him you know do your homework apply for She's college the bad and, cop. yeah that's exactly right. yeah yeah, yeah. So, and then uh you know but <laughs> like they said you know like meadow made something of herself you know yeah. same household well she's still a sarcastic shit oh like absolutely brother, so yeah but by like and treating you know treating her her mom sometimes no yeah, not yeah. Very well. but like yeah. law of averages yeah that's <laughs> so, right yeah yeah but she's doing well yeah yeah, right. doing yeah better. they don't have to worry about her that way because she's great grades and she'll find yeah. her way and stuff and yeah i'm curious right. to see kind of how far like the because like mm -hmm. you know her and finn are now engaged mm -hmm. so i wonder if we'll kind of like where that will go next season you know like yeah are, are we going to go through with it is he going to back out of it or you know yeah. how's that going to play out because it, it, it was kind of quick he didn't know what else to do i don't think exactly yeah. you know it's, it's a it's like a it's a good relationship but like is it like strong enough to be like married mm -hmm, life partners mm -hmm. kind of thing yeah yeah uh, yeah so we sort of left off things are good with johnny but now the feds are moving in and we'll see what yeah season six has but yeah last uh, one really memorable season very uh, you know very. For, for you know adriana and such but uh, also just kind of like ODB. like i said with, with yeah. the new cast of characters the you know like yeah. you you take this sort of you know pile of logs and you toss in like four different matches yeah and you see which one starts the biggest fire yeah that's, that's right. sort of how it felt for exactly. me you know feach causing trouble we got rid of him mm -hmm. angelo was kind of like calm didn't want to he wanted to retire yeah tony b you know who, who like on the surface compared to the rest of these guys seemed like the more kind of put together mm -hmm. even keel but then he sort of wound up being the biggest problem and... yeah and then uh tony and Carm got back together yeah yeah, yeah. And they're developing that house which yeah because we, we've always said that, and she's always, you know, like, she would have be, be a good, good realtor, realtor or something. And it looks yeah. like she's kind of exploring that side of things, yeah. you know, like having this property developed. Yeah. So, so we'll, see. we'll see if we kind of, 
I don't know, end, the, season. end the season with them moving into a brand new yeah, house or yeah. something. Or... Well, and a lot of people, a lot of you guys said that season five was one of your favorites, too. Hmm. So I'm hoping season six still has some good stuff in it. Yeah. And isn't just kind of a, you know, trying to wind it down or yeah, because from, or... from everything I've heard, uh, uh, you know, and correct me if I'm wrong, but like, because some shows, let's like, you know, my beloved like Vikings or like other shows where it's like there's definite like, let's say bad seasons. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, there's, yeah. there's a yeah. drop after this point. Or whatever. Yeah. There's good and bad from everything I've heard with Sopranos. It's just a matter of what people like more than than yeah. this the, than yeah. the other. Yeah. So like from what I've heard, there's no like bad season. No. Right. OK. Yeah. And it's the last one. So yeah. I'm hoping they. Yeah. Last one. So what can I we don't get left hanging. But who knows? Uh, yeah, exactly. We'll see kind of how this all wraps up. So, yeah. yeah. Thank you so much for joining us. That was season five. Lot of shit went down. Yes. Even more so than other seasons mm -hmm. with like Ralphie and Richie and like mm -hmm. all their related plots. Yeah. So yeah, what kind of about all that? <laughs> yeah, so you repressed all that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, thank you so much for joining us. Hopefully you enjoyed as well. If you want to watch the full length of our reaction, I'll put a link down to our Patreon below. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Mm. And um yeah, until next time. Salute. Bye guys. Bye.